you imagine living in a society where the cultural norms are to chain your child to a wall, hide them from the public, or lock them in a small room? For many families living in the developing world, this is the reality of raising a child with autism. The name of my game is called Autism, a new conversation for connection. Standing in the middle of a beautifully crafted cultural center in Morea, Tahiti, I see American and Tahitian children with special needs, their families, and educators. We brought in a team of highly trained professionals to teach facilitated communication, behavioral support, and life skills. As a result, the students have a new future. Being in the team management and leadership program has allowed me to effectively create teams needed to expand my game globally. We are partnering with the Tahitian and French government to deliver this training to all special needs facilitators. Through education and connectedness, we are changing the conversations about autism and creating a new reality. I'm Carly LeDuc from Team San Francisco. My game in the world is Taking It to the Streets, an organization committed to end suffering amongst homeless youth living in the Haight-Ashbury District of San Francisco. Before joining the team management and leadership program, I was heartbroken because of all the pain and suffering I saw amongst the homeless youth living on my streets. In the team management and leadership program, I realized that I can make a difference for people in my community. I partnered with Christian Kalinske and we immediately went to work. Right now we are providing lunches, clothing, and toiletries to the less fortunate on a weekly basis. Our goal is to ultimately open a facility, support youth in developing job skills, meet educational goals, and help them find a new way to live and be off the streets for good. So tonight for me is a real expression of what it takes to be able to be in communication about what you're passionate about. Uh, hi, my name's Kylie. I created a game called Women Ignite Passion and the purpose was to bring women together irrespective of their choices to appreciate unity and connection. When you are in love with yourself and you have passion in your life, you are freaking unstoppable. So I thought, right, that's it. That's my purpose. We had four different speakers who all had a very unique story. It's okay, we're allowed to be happy. All the young women around you, empower them. We had 120 women show up at the event, which was a full house, and all proceeds from the sale of the tickets went to cure brain cancer. It is up to us, either as women or as mothers, to speak up. I never imagined myself to have accomplished something on such a large scale and to have a team of six women pull together and actually make it work. I left with the experience of being proud, of knowing myself as somebody who makes a difference and somebody who can actually cause leadership. Save the Kids is on a mission to eradicate malnourishment on the planet. Here I am in Mexico visiting kids at an orphanage who don't have access to healthy food, nor a family, or even a place to call home. While on this trip, I get deeply moved by who I am for these kids and the difference that we all can make. I'm partnering with global leaders, former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, and Sam Castor, the creators of the Hope Bar. We're opening up distribution channels all over the world to feed malnourished children whole food nutrition bars. One Hope Bar has all the nutrients that a child needs for one day. By being in the team management leadership program, We've created teams to champion the cause, with an outcome of over 20,000 kids fed by June 4, 2015. Save the kids. Take a stand for all kids being fed. The Evolutionary Business Council was created to help emerging thought leaders from all over the world become more influential. We're speakers, trainers, writers, and radio hosts from all over the world 
that help each other create connections, get speaking engagements, interviews, and influence change on topics like business, success, health, and money. Landmark's team management and leadership program is helping me take the council to a fully global scale. One of the things it's done for me is really catapulted my project called Project Forgive, a little video, a little five minute video that was seen by tens of thousands of people that was caused and created through the Evolutionary Business Council. Think about what it would take for a 28 year old fresh out of Bible college to become globally iconic. You can learn that level of influence. When passionate people who are really out to cause something in the world band together, that's when word of mouth epidemics happen. You can say X and X will happen globally.